oh my god why do i look like this <laughs> so i just got out of the shower if you can't tell it's thursday night it's like what time is it it's half past nine i'm sorry i look so red i know i look really bad it's because i just had a really hot shower after going to the gym let me sort myself out and then i'll get into detail because this is this is not okay <laughs> so basically as i just said i just got out of the shower which is why i'm so red and i also just went to the gym before that I'm not flexing on you. I don't normally go to the gym. My flatmates literally made me go because I don't leave my room, which is what I'm about to talk to you about. Um, oh, I look so disgusting. I can't even hide this. I'm about to make myself a coffee because like, it's probably gonna be a long night um, because I've got things to do now that I plan to do these things. And I'm gonna walk away from the kids because that's gonna get really loud. Okay, so basically, I'm not gonna lie. My, um, my happiness has been pretty recently um especially over the last like few days uh yeah i've been really um not okay uh mostly the fact that i just don't leave my bedroom all day because i don't go into uni anymore because i stay at home to look after sandy which is the staffy if you didn't already know except i think it's really why am i so distracted except i think it's really like taking a toll on my mental health like i don't want to like just antisocial and stuff and I've just not been in a good place recently and basically all it took was going to the gym one time tonight and now I feel amazing. Going to the gym with my flatmates like just good vibes, did some exercise um and it I felt great and like I feel really good now and that's when I'm going to the gym. See you feeling great. If you haven't had these sachets they're actually a lifesaver they're amazing. Um Nescafe coconut latte or almond latte or oat latte. They're like super sweet which I really like. So yeah basically um As an example of me just not feeling great recently, I literally went out with some friends last night for my friend's birthday and I ended up going home crying because I just felt like the whole world hated me. Like everyone goes through that, right? Whereas today I feel much better and I feel like fake tanning and I also, a week ago or two weeks ago, I bought some purple hair dye and I just, I've been so fucking busy, I haven't been able to do it. Right, we're gonna go back up to my bedroom to finish this off with my coffee. Copyright. <laughs> I spilled coffee! You must be. Coffee has gone everywhere. This is not good. I just know, like, my flatmates are gonna get back and they're just gonna hear me, like, ranting in my bathroom and they're gonna be like, what the fuck is Lucy doing? It's just vibes, you know? It's just vibes. See you, good vibes. If you don't understand, TikTok is all I have to say. You know what I just realised is that I can't actually, like, fake tan and then dye my hair. I'd have to dye my hair first and that would involve having wet hair. I haven't really thought this through. I'm gonna have to dye my hair first, I guess. I always do these things so impulsively, so, so impulsively. Oh look, I have a rubber plant in here now. I also have another plant, which is literally where I need to put my camera, so that needs to move. I have been so, so bad at YouTube recently because I've been so busy, like uh, January, who is she? Where did it go? I don't know. I blinked and it's February. Wait, is it even February? It's the 30th of January, so it's basically February. This is the hair dye I got. It's Revolution, which is like Superdrug's own brand, I think. I don't know. Basically, I, yeah, I wanted to dye my hair purple. I was gonna do pink, and then I was like, no, pink fades badly, and purple fades to like gray, so that's good, that's fine, that's what we want, because it'll be like silvery and nice. It was more expensive than the Bleach London one. I'm sorry, this is like the first ever video where I've used something that's not Bleach London. Partly because I hate them now, because like they never sponsored me, and like they so should, because like I literally gave them their company. Um, sorry. I literally gave them their company. Um, sorry. <laughs> I'm shaking because I had a coffee before the gym and I'm just drinking coffee. I don't drink coffee, like, I know, maybe I drink coffee in my videos, but like, I literally don't drink coffee, like, <sighs> last time I drank coffee was in Barcelona. Actually, no, that's a lie, I drank coffee this weekend. But I only ever drink coffee when I go places, like, or if I go out or something. I'm getting, s literally my mind is like, <gasps> I can't just talk about one thing, I just gotta talk about everything. It's called Rainbow Tones. Uh, last eight to 12 washes, cruelty free and vegan, we love that. Directions, apply to shampoo dump. Ugh. What? I swear you have to dye your hair when it's dry. Where you have to dye your hair when it's dry. For best results, use on lightened bleached. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, who? Not me, never done that. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just like really happy because like I haven't been happy in so long and that's really depressing, but like 
my life is just a bit like the reason why I haven't posted on YouTube is like in like three weeks is because like like I have been happy for like a day and then I'll just be like boom hate my life um anyway I keep getting so distracted if this actually lasts 8 to 12 washes and I wash my hair like once a week um this should last me at least eight weeks which is two months which I incredibly doubt but I guess we'll see also my roots are kind of bad right now but I just couldn't be bothered to bleach my hair like I just, I just didn't want to I'm sorry hardcore bleach fans out there like I just not vibing um this is like maximum effort that i can put in right now i'm gonna do it on dry hair normally when i follow instructions i get shouted at anyway so what's the point in following them so i've literally like redone my entire room um and now i don't know where anything is uh i'll just give you a quick tour even though it's a bit of a mess but basically hi that's me my bed used to be here and my desk used to be over there under the skylights but now my bed is under the skylights that's sandy hey y'all Hi! He's a cute girl. He's a cute girl. Look at the tail. Look at the tail. Oh, puppy. I'm sorry. Did I wake you? No, <laughs> you're so good. I'm actually such a massive idiot. This whole time I've been looking for my gloves in my room and it turns out I'm literally sat right next to them. Yay! How have you been, everyone? Good, good. Yeah, how have I been? Well, I guess I just told you that, so I don't know why you're asking, because clearly you weren't listening. Um, but basically, I'm a TikTok star now. I have like 1,500 followers, what can I say? Try and beat me, I dare you. I keep getting so fucking distracted, I need my hairbrush. This is gonna be the bit where everyone gets super triggered, because I'm gonna brush my hair and it's gonna sound like I'm ripping out every single hair from my scalp, but it's actually just because my hair is so broken that it breaks every time I brush it, so. Sorry, don't come for me. On the way home from the gym earlier, I literally I listened to this song and now I'm obsessed. It's called Roses, but it's a remix by someone. Um, it's just so lit and like I feel like that's the kind of vibe I'm at right now. Also, I recently straightened my hair, which is why it looks actually nice. It doesn't normally look this nice. Also, I know that my flat is going to go back at some point and I'm just going to be like singing in the shower. I literally watched a video of Emma Chamberlain like dyeing her hair today on YouTube and I think that's what reminded me that I wanted to dye my hair and it made me like miss dyeing my hair and in the video she said something like bleaching your hair is really scary that's literally my career so this should be so easy like this is such an easy thing to do like just dyeing your hair a color compared to like bleaching it because bleaching it just takes fucking ages doesn't it whereas like this I can just do and be done with it, you know? Like, so much less stressful. Why I'm not bleaching my hair? Because I don't think my brain could take that amount of stress right now. Also, I love this mug and it's not even mine. I think it's Hannah's. It says crazy vegan lady on it and I just think that's literally me, so. It just says massage gently from the roots to the tips. Surely you would start with the tips, I don't know. Oh, she dug. <laughs> For some reason I was expecting it to look this color. Also, now I'm worried that maybe it's gonna be darker than I thought, which, yeah. Wait, maybe I'm not gonna actually have enough for my hair. <laughs> oh, there's actually not gonna be enough, like I can already tell, okay. And so it begins. Oh, it smells really good. Oh God, oh God, this is gonna be so uneven and it's gonna be so dark because I'm doing it on dry hair. And I actually have to leave the house tomorrow and I'm actually going out on Saturday. So this has to look okay, or I'm actually screwed. Oh my god, it looks like I don't have roots anymore, wow. Imagine if I was just dyeing my hair brown again. I do think about that sometimes. Don't miss it though, at all. I went through a phase in summer where I wanted to dye half my hair black, like, um, oh, what's her name? Melanie Martinez, yeah. Okay, now it makes more sense why I would do this on wet hair. It would spread better. Maybe I'm just gonna have to do like half purple, half pink again, but I've already done that, that would be so boring. And I don't know how I ever had the confidence to pull that off in the first place. I was so brave. It was so bold. Okay, I'm adding conditioner. Only thing is, is it's like orange. Um, okay. Oh no. <gasps> no! Not Isaac's joggers. That doesn't look too bad, look. Oh my god, I'm so good at hair now. Like, should I start doing tutorials? Yeah. Also, I keep seeing videos of people bleaching, not bleaching, shaving their head. Or like people with shaved heads and it's reminded me of how much I wanna shave my head. So maybe if this video gets 100,000 likes, I'll shave my head. 
no cap. My housemates have just got back. I'm gonna go get their reaction. I can conclude that I should have followed the instructions. Almost 100% should have washed my hair first because my hair is not fully saturated with purple. So it's going to be streaky and I can't wait. I dyed my hair. <laughs> I did it wrong. Oh no. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> this is Hannah. Hi. <laughs> what have you done wrong? Um, I didn't follow the instructions, Serena. Um, no. <laughs> I literally was gonna follow the instructions and then I could swear that you're meant to put colour in dry hair and then halfway through I realised no, it should be wet. Can, is the back? <gasps> no! Is it actually that bad? It's, it's fine, it's just like quite blonde. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna have to go out and buy more hair dye. Oh no, it'll look fine though. I'm sure it'll be fine. Like, it will be fine. Yeah, and you can just add you can just add more hair dye to it. I'm sure it'll look like Oh my god. Out. Why can't I ever do anything right? <laughs> okay, so it's actually like super, super dark. I don't even look like I have blonde hair anymore. It's just like roots and then dark purple. You can, oh my god. God, that's dreadful. Look, it's like blonde. Imagine your hair ever turning out the way you want it to. Like, just can't relate. Okay, well, I guess whilst that festers, I'm going to fake tan. So I'm going to fake tan using Molly May's Very Dark, or Ultra Dark, Very Dark, I think, actually. I feel like I haven't got fake tan in ages. I went through a phase of doing it, like, every week, and then, and then stuff just happened and I didn't. I can't get over how terrible this hair has turned out. Yay! Literally, the only reason why I really like tanning is because then my foundation actually matches my body. I don't have a single foundation that I can wear when I'm not fake tanned, so I just have to be fake tanned now in order to wear makeup. Also, you just look so much healthier with a tan. Obviously, it would be better if it was real, but I can't be affording to fly to Bali just to get tan. Okay, so I've done one coat of fake tan. I'm gonna wait half an hour. Oh, hello. And then do another coat. Whilst I wait for this to dry, I'm gonna blow dry my hair and see the damage. Okay, so my hair is mostly dry and it's really blue, which I kind of do. I like the blue, but it's so patchy. It's kind of an ombre. I don't know why it didn't dye like the blonde bits closest to my roots, they're just still blonde. But that seems to always happen. I guess it's because it's less bleached than the rest of my hair. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put my hair in like a bun and let it dry and then fig tan again. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go and buy more hair dye tomorrow. Um, good morning. It's half seven. I've got the heater on because it's fucking freezing. I just washed up my hand. My hands washed up so much paler. I'm just gonna moisturize now using my body shop. Strawberry moisturizer because it smells incredible and it's a really like deep moisturizer and I have really dry skin so this helps. I'm just about to put on some makeup and I just don't even look tanned. I'll show you my hair when it's dry but it's like a blue ombre and I'm gonna go and get more hair dye later and do it again properly. <laughs> the worst part, really. It's literally, this wouldn't normally happen, it's just that I laid on my back, like, asleep last night and, like, had my hands resting on my stomach and I knew that this was gonna happen but I didn't really care, so... YOLO. Right, so I'm just, my hair is dry now and I took it out of the plait. Um... And yeah, as I said, it's like a blue ombre. Not even that bad, the only bit I hate is that it's really light here. Wait, let me put you in better lighting. So, this is it. My hair up here is actually dying, look. Um, but it's been like this for a while now. I'm just waiting for it to grow out, I guess. That's another reason why I just, I'm not gonna bleach my hair for a while because it's only at the back, but I've just got breakages. It doesn't help that I straightened my hair the other day as well. Like I haven't, that's literally the first time I've straightened my hair in ages, but it's so damaging and like, I can just feel my hair breaking whilst I was straightening it. Um, I'm so sorry about my hands. But, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, you can see where I've literally just like, 
Well, like my hair was like this and I just went and like it didn't saturate my hair at all because like underneath it's like still blonde. <laughs> but from afar, it's not awful. It's just an ombre. Yeah, so I'm gonna go and buy more hair dye after I've gone into uni because I've got to go into uni today. But I'm not gonna have time to film and edit that because I want to get this video edited this morning before I go into uni. So I guess if you want to see how that turns out, you're gonna have to follow me on my Instagram, which is at Lucinich underscore. Um, even though I'm really terrible at grid posting, I post on my story every single day, so. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, goodbye.